Donald Trump's staff member has come forward and identified herself as the person responsible for plagiarism in Melania Trump's convention speech. We're told she offered a resignation, but Trump rejected it. Meredith McIver says she included passages from Michelle Obama's 2008 convention speech after listening to Mrs. Trump read passages from it aloud. McIver says she wrote them down and later included some of the phrasing in her draft that ultimately became the final speech. McIver says she feels terrible that she did not check Mrs. Obama's speech and that no harm was meant by it. Monday night, when Mrs. Trump spoke, reporters uncovered the striking similarities between the two speeches. And this is new video of Trump arriving at the convention via helicopter today. He was greeted by his family and running mate, Mike Pence. In our continuing coverage of the GOP convention, News 4 Jack's political reporter Ken Justice is joining us live from Cleveland. Ken, one of the concerns we've heard repeatedly is about other Republicans and how the Trump candidacy could affect those other office seekers. Any updates on that? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, Mary, for all the uh, talk of the Republicans finally rallying behind their nominee, I think there's an underlying concern, especially for members of Congress, that they may feel the heat when it comes to election results this coming November. So I spoke with some local congressmen, the incumbents from Florida and from Georgia, and they say they think they're going to be okay. Well, certainly, I think everyone wants to be unified behind a, a single candidate, and Donald Trump is that candidate. Yeah, hard for you, easy for you to say, yep, I'm behind Donald Trump. I'm 100% behind him, 125%. Southeastern Congressman Ted Yoho from Gainesville and Buddy Carter from Pooler, Georgia, south of Savannah, both say they support Donald Trump now. Carter says he sees what Trump brings to the table and likes what he sees. Yoho admits his opinion changed during the primary process. You know, I wasn't that way in the very beginning, um, but he's our, our nominee. He will be the nominee coming out of this convention. And I've had the opportunity to sit down with him. And when you sit down with him and you see, you know, him talk about things, the rationale behind it. You have to keep in mind the things that Donald Trump brings to the table. First of all, he's a businessman. Secondly, he's a Washington outsider. Thirdly, and perhaps most importantly, he's not. Hillary Clinton, and that's vitally important. How does the controversial, unorthodox Trump leading the ticket for Republicans affect other races like Carter's and Yoho's? Well, that's yet to be seen how the top of the ticket is going to impact uh, the House races and the Senate races especially. But I, I'm very confident we're going to maintain the majority when we come back at 247 in the House. That remains to be seen, but I am very confident that we will have a comfortable majority going into next year. Congressman Yoho talked at length with me about national security, and he says he believes that's become the number one issue on the agenda as we go through uh, the rest of this campaign season. Live in Cleveland, Kent Justice Channel 4, the local station. So, Ken, you were telling us the Florida delegation has heard from some big names at their breakfast so far this week. Who's on top, who's on tap, that is, for the final breakfast tomorrow morning? Sure, for instance, Rudy Giuliani was this morning, Ben Carson yesterday. So coming up tomorrow, the last of these breakfast events that they'll have, they're really packing it in. Got Governor Rick Scott on the agenda to speak. Uh, also, former Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich. He was widely regarded as one of the finalists to become the vice presidential nominee alongside Donald Trump. Uh, Jeff Sessions, the senator, and former Ambassador John Bolton, all four scheduled to speak for the Florida delegation tomorrow morning in that final breakfast here in Cleveland. Mary. All right, Ken Justice reporting to us live from Cleveland.